Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this reminder today. My dear brothers and sisters, I always believe that the benefit you get from the wisdom of the Holy Quran and the teaching of the engineer of happiness and the champion of success, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it is huge. Take a look at this scenario. We are living the month of Ramadan, this wonderful life, this great life, happy life, full of blessing, you will notice the masjid full after Ramadan, I mean the first day in Ramadan, empty a day before Ramadan, full a day after Ramadan, right? I mean the first day in Ramadan, full, a day before Ramadan, empty. After Ramadan expires, the masjid becomes empty again. Now, those people who come, and some people describe them as they worship Ramadan. They only come in Ramadan, and you don't see them the rest of the year. Perhaps you see them on Friday. As a matter of fact, those people, they are our brothers and sisters. Never point the finger at them. They are guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are invited to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let us not call them the worshippers of Ramadan. They are the worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did precisely say something that son of Mas'ud did speak about this verse in the Holy Quran. Inna arja aya fi kitab Allah. The verse that gives the greatest hope in the book of Allah. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Say to my servant, those who transgressed against themselves, don't be hopeless of the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all sins. Allah is the most forgiving, most merciful. So those people that you see in Ramadan, they want to put this verse on practice they don't want to give up on themselves they don't want to give up and be hopeless with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so invite them to your heart by accepting that me and you we could have been that person who comes to the masjid only in Ramadan or comes to the masjid only in Eid time show them your passion before you show them your fashion in Eid time, passion to accept them with a big smile, with a big heart, accommodating them, and realize that they are your strength. They are the guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the one most likely sin free. Sin free because they accepted repentance accepted to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and attaib min adhan kaman la dhan bala those who repent from a sin as if they never committed it so those brothers and sisters who come in Ramadan repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be happy that you have extra brothers in your life Jazakumullah khair for another episode on the go we say may Allah keep loving you and blessing you all